when the Biden administration confirmed that it was sending a single Patriot air defense system battery to Ukraine as part of a new one US dollar and 85 cents billion military aid package. Today's assistance for the first time includes the Patriot air defense system, capable of bringing down cruise missiles, short range ballistic missiles and aircraft at a significantly higher ceiling than previously provided air defense systems, said the US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. This is a major shift from the start of the conflict. In March 2022, Poland asked Germany to transfer Patriot launchers to Ukraine, but the latter refused on the grounds of not wanting to escalate the war. Now the Patriots are on the way with all that implies. The phased array tracking radar for intercept on target, Patriot, air defense system, also known as the Patriot missile system, is a surface-to-air missile and anti-ballistic system. It's built by Raytheon Technologies as the prime contractor and is regarded as one of the most sophisticated defense systems of its type in the world. Today, Patriot serves in about 17 countries, with the United States fielding 1,106 Patriot launchers in 15 battalions. In addition, several variants have been released as the system was upgraded, and the system has enjoyed remarkable success in a number of conflicts capable of intercepting multiple targets at a range of 20 to 100 miles, 32 to 160 kilometers. The Patriot system is mounted on trucks with up to four launcher canisters and each canister holding four missiles. Each battery consists of a power plant, a phased array radar system, an engagement control station, launchers, an antenna mast group, and the missiles themselves. The radar detects possible threats, the engagement control station calculates the intercept trajectories, and the antenna mast group provides the battery with communications. In flight, the radar guides the missile to its target. The missiles themselves are about 17 feet, 5.2 meters, long, and are about 16 in 42 centimeters in diameter. Solid fuel, they can fly at supersonic speed, reach an altitude of 80,000 feet, 24,000 meters, and can destroy their targets either by direct impact or proximity fuse detonation of the 200 pounds, 90 kilograms, warhead packed with high explosives and shrapnel. Each battery requires 90 soldiers to deploy it and keep it going, but only three in the engagement control station are needed for a combat intercept. However, it isn't cheap. Each armed battery costs $1 billion, with each round coming to a cool $4 million a shot. The big question about Patriot is, will sending it to Ukraine change the game? The short answer is, probably not. The US is only sending one battery to the conflict and Germany has only offered one as well. The system has limited range and isn't very mobile, so two batteries can't defend a very large area. Even if deployed to the capital of Kyiv, only a small sector could be covered. Worse, it will be months before these batteries will arrive, and even when they do, there's the problem of training the crews. A launch operator takes 13 weeks to train, and a maintenance technician takes 53 weeks. Then there's the question of where to train them, which is extremely touchy because NATO prefers to keep as few of its soldiers openly in Ukraine as possible to avoid escalation. The U.S. has agreed to train up to 100 Ukrainian soldiers on Patriot at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, which could speed things up, but also complicates an already long and convoluted logistical supply chain. Another question is how to use Patriot. It's effective, but it's also expensive. It's one thing to shoot down a long-range cruise missile costing hundreds of thousands of dollars, but firing a $4 million missile to destroy a $50,000 drone is hardly cost-effective. With limited rounds, this will require some decision-making as to the rules of engagement against Russian forces that are relying more heavily on cheap Iranian drones as time passes. In addition, deploying Patriot has diplomatic symbolism for Ukraine, which is beating the drum heavily for NATO support, and is often worried that this support might be waning in the face of energy shortages and other insecurities in Europe and America. At the very least, U.S. deployment is a gesture of commitment. Such commitment is important because the Ukraine invasion has sparked an arms sales boom that has turned Patriot into a hot item on the international market.
If the war continues and Kyiv uses up its current inventory of Patriot missiles, it will need assurances that resupplies are on hand.